you're an environmental engineer, correct? Yeah. Okay. And when did, how did you decide to pursue environmental engineering? Um, well, I decided I was at the end of you know at the end of high school. I had um like a lot of different interests, and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I went to a career fair expo with my older brother, and he's really interested in electrical engineering. And so I went to a few engineering talks with him, and I never considered doing engineering, but then um, it sounded really interesting. And um, I guess I chose environmental engineering because it's a mix of science and engineering. And it's also, um, you're able to um, help build things and actually make an impact um, in the world. But I also chose to do a double degree with corporate finance, um, just because, like most of you, be a bit unsure of what you actually want to do when you um, finish university and get a real job. Corporate finance, I didn't know you studied that. That's yeah. so cool. Um, and so you pretty much decided just because you weren't sure that you wanted to do environmental engineering? Yeah, well, I always really liked maths and science, but I also liked English um, and human biology, so I was a bit torn. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do, but I guess also my parents influenced me because engineering, um, my mum said, always has a job at the end. There's a set um, job, and it's quite um, easy to get a job. And actually, at the time, I'm from Australia, um, and we were in the middle of a drought, and there was a lot of, um, in the media, a lot of concern about water. So I chose to do environmental engineering, focusing on water, to try and um, help secure water resources for Perth, but also because I knew there would be a job at the end of it. Okay, that's awesome. So you studied in Australia, yeah. and you did your double major in Australia, and did you... Why did you decide to come to Switzerland, to Europe? I mean, that's so far across yeah. the ocean. What influenced you to come here? And why did you decide to do a master's instead of going to industry? Yeah, exactly. Well, I've actually worked for six years in industry as an environmental engineer. So I've worked um, at an engineering consulting firm in water resources. So I have worked one year in Perth and five years in Melbourne. And after about six years in the industry, I felt that... Um, I needed a bit of a break. I needed just to take a bit of time and um, just take a break from working. So I was looking into a lot of different options and I've always wanted to do a master's um, and they offer a really good master's at ETH um, in sustainable water resources. So it was perfect um, and very flexible but also a bit of an adventure. So I decided um, me and my partner came over here and we're both studying. So would you recommend um, anyone looking to move to Europe uh, for an engineering job to learn a second language? Yeah, I think so, because if you want to work professionally, even if um, the business language is English, a lot of your client contact would be in the native language and um, like day-to-day -day interactions. If you can't speak the native language fluently, you'd be at a really big disadvantage, I think. What was the best advice you've ever gotten? One thing I did try to do when I was studying my um, my bachelor's degree was I had a really amazing supervisor for my undergraduate thesis project and he gave me so many opportunities and opened a lot of doors but at the time it was really annoying because it made me really <laughs> accountable. If he gave me an opportunity I had to follow through and actually do it. So I guess um, the advice he gave me was always um, like if there's an opportunity, you should always take it. If someone spends the time to open a door for you or give you a chance, you should always like follow through with it. And it's a bit of extra work, but it really pays off. So, is there, if there was one thing that you could tell your younger self um, when you first started studying, what would it be? Yeah, it'd probably be to try and take every opportunity I can get. So sometimes things seem a bit scary and you don't want to go outside your comfort zone. Um, but yeah, just try to be engaged in everything that you can. So how is studying in Switzerland compared to studying in Australia in terms of women in your courses? Yeah, well the course which I'm studying, it's a Masters of Sustainable Water Resources and um, it's mainly with environmental engineering students. So I think it's almost, it's 50-50 
males and females here. So the difference is in Australia, I was studying a bachelor's degree and I had to do a lot of other broader engineering subjects which don't have many females in it. So here it's not, um, I haven't found it it's exclusive at all. And um, no, it's really nice. Okay, awesome. <laughs>